Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my makeup routine. Right now I have no makeup on and I just wanted to show you what I do to get ready in the morning. Um, my main problems, I don't really suffer from acne anymore, but when I, about two or three months ago, out of nowhere, I was going through a lot of stress and my face flared up and it was just really, really bad and I got acne out of nowhere. It was terrible, so I don't have it anymore, but um, I was left with like kind of like See like red spots like there, there, there on the other side. That's a freckle, but like red spots all throughout. Um, so I, I've been looking for a long time to kind of find makeup and a routine that's kind of like been able to help my skin and I have and I wanted to share it with you guys. And also another thing that happens to me a lot is in my sleep, I bite my lips. Like it's really gross. I'll wake up and my mouth will be all bloody and see. So like I just woke up a little bit ago. See? So like... My lips are like always, 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 always when I wake up bleeding because I've been biting them. So I'm just going to show you my makeup, makeup routine, how to hide stuff and all that. The video is not great quality, but if you follow the steps, it'll still be the same. First thing I do is, um, since I've already kind of strained my hair, it's just kind of messy today because it's actually a kind of chilly day outside for Miami, which we don't get a lot. So there's like no humidity and my hair actually works better with humidity than without. So it's kind of like dull and flat today. So I'm just going to pin these two out of this out of my hair just so I can work kind of fully with my forehead and that side too and first also I wash my face with Aveeno clean and clear uh, complexion so I wash it with it's a it's a pump so it's nice and I also use every single day Burt's Bees citrus um, facial scrub this is what it looks like out of the box just because I just ran out of it so I haven't replaced it yet and there it is. It smells so good. You can use it every day. It's not harsh on your skin like the, um, like the, which, what is that other one called? The St. Ives Apricot Scrub. That's really harsh on your skin. Don't use that every day. So for prep, um, I've been using this Clean and Clear Dual Action. Um, it's for acne and it's oil free, which is really good for your skin because you don't need extra oil. And then also, I have eczema, so I sometimes get like dry patches like right here or right here. I've been using, where is it? Sorry. This Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream. You don't need a lot of it. Like it's really thick and it's really nice. And it hasn't caused me to break out or anything. I just don't know if you can see. Um, so I've been using those two together. And this also, this Clean and Clear thing has like a cooling effect. It's really neat. So first thing, and I use my fingers for this. If I was doing makeup on somebody else, I would not obviously use my fingers, but it's on me. My hands are clean, so it's okay. I use Laura Mercier's Silk Cream Foundation, and that's it. And I, I use it in, um, whoops, upside down. I Oh, no, it was the right side. I just can't read. Um, and it's in Cream Ivory. This stuff is really great. Um, it's not going to clog your pores. It's good for, it, it hasn't, it hasn't, um, it's worked really well with my skin. Um, it's oil free, I believe, and it has great coverage. So I just put four little ones on there and then push your hair back. Just kind of rub it in all over. I'm going to look up because it's easier to see in my mirror than, um, in my computer screen. It's a little better lighting. Rub all of that in. Even, I even go up into my eyelids. And that um, works as kind of like a, uh, a a shadow insurance kind of because I don't really use any shadow insurance to keep my eyeshadow on. I prefer um, foundation. So I rub it all in. Make sure you get around your nose because like that's where you see a lot of red spots down your nose. Make sure it's well blended. I go all the way back. Down your neck. And I always use, I do my forehead last. Go up here. And you really don't need a lot. Like I bought this tube um, around Christmas. Actually before Christmas. I want to say it was like December 21st or 22nd. And um, it's still going strong and I'm still using it. And I haven't had to buy a new one yet because see like you just really, like sorry I didn't mean to use my middle finger. Like that's really like all you need. So up around here, here again. For your forehead. Avoid, just kind of stay right here. Don't go into your hairline yet, okay? Do that last, and then just kind of dab it and work it in because you don't want to see makeup 
that's not blended into your hairline because then it looks silly. Make sure you get your eyelids good. That's, this foundation is so forgiving too. I love it. Okay. So see now when you look close, those red marks that you did see, except that, that's a freckle, remember, that um, they're gone. Like they're not anywhere near as bad. So then what I use is this Alme Wake Up Hydrating Makeup. It has SPF 13 in it. And this is cool too because it has like a uh, like a cooling, I don't know what they put in it, but it has like a cooling um, thing in it too. So when you put it on, it feels like you like stuck your face in the freezer. It's kind of cool. So I take my brush. It's just, um, it's from Japan, Japan-esque. I don't know, I got it for free. I need to wash it. It's really dirty, but just dab a little bit. See, like that's like all that I put on. Put it all around here. And then this stuff goes everywhere, so I dump it in the lid with the lid on instead of just like pouring it over. And do this side. And do your forehead. I do my face before I do my eyes. Um, just because I find it easier to work with my, um, my, the, what you call it, eyeshadow that I use doesn't really have any fallout, so I don't really worry about, um, doing my, what you call it first, doing, doing my, my, uh, foundation first. So there's that. Put that away. And then, just for like an everyday look. Um, let me readjust these because they're falling out. I just use neutral colors like a kind of like a brown and a uh, like a cream kind of color. This is by Too Faced. You can tell I use it a lot because it's like almost gone. And it is, um, this is called Teddy Bear and this is called Heaven. And I got it in one of their things. And then I use my MAC. Um, I think this is a 117 brush. I'm not sure. It's a blending brush, but I use it. See? In here, dump in a little bit of brown after, blow off the excess, pull this down, and go down and out, kind of focus in the corners of your eyes, like that. See? You can kind of see how it's dark over here. I said, like, the video quality isn't great, but this is what, what I do every morning to get ready for work. Blend out. It's easier to do it if you like keep your eye half open instead of all the way open. Make sure it's even on both sides. Sorry. Okay, so it just it kind of looks natural. Then this is um from Laura Geller. This brush I love this brush because it has an eyeshadow brush on this side and an angled brush on this side. Then I dip my angled brush in the teddy bear. Only the teddy bear, not both of them this time. Take it down to the corner and just put it in the corner and drag it all the way down or all the way across. Keep dragging. And it's going to open up. I have small eyes. I have almond shaped eyes. So it's going to open my eyes up a little bit. See if you can, if you see the difference. This eye is going to look a little bit bigger than this eye. Same thing, whoops, same thing on this side. Start in the corner. Drag it all the way down, flip your brush. I don't drag it, um, I drag it to about three-fourths of the way into my eye. I don't put it um, all the way like in the corner because then it's gonna like throughout the day kind of start to wear off because that's where your tear ducts are. So, let's see if they look pretty even. I think they do. Then, I take the normal side of the brush, normal eyeshadow brush, put it in heaven, blow it off, and then put it up towards here, just underneath my brow to give it a little bit of a highlight. I'm going to do more highlight in a minute, but this is just like the beginning of it. 
And then I put a little on the creases to kind of make it look my eyes a little more wide and awake. And then next up, I use Voluminous Million Lashes in this gold tube. It's taking me forever to find a mascara that I like, and I finally like this one. See, it's how it looks. And I have to get up close, so sorry if you're, like, seeing a view of my nose. But I kind of, I start out towards the, um, the side of my lashes, drag them out and up. If you blink, too, when you do it, it helps a lot. And then I shut my eye and do the tops of my lashes also. Whoops. And I just got it in my eye. Keep dragging and blinking. And then for the bottom. Hang on. Yes, I have to do the weird mascara face. <laughs> okay, so there's that eye. And then let's do this eye. It's always harder to do. I'm left-handed, so it's always really hard for me to do my right eye. Do that, and then do the top. I don't really wear um, eyeliner or anything like that. I just, I think that you can um, kind of call use or make the same effect with mascara than you, with you can eyeliner, especially if you have like blue eyes. Because the dark of the mascara, the black of the mascara, um, what you call it, brings out the blue in your eyes. And go to the bottom. Sorry. Okay. So there's the mascara. Then I'm going to use shell by MAC, it's a highlighting cream. Take your finger, I'm gonna put a little bit underneath, right here, just underneath your brow line. Same thing on this side. That way, like, when the light hits it, it's gonna, um, it's gonna make your eyes kinda, like, pop. I also put it right here, up the sides of my cheeks, and down the center of your nose. And then, I'm going to take NARS Orgasm, use my same brush. I need a lot more of this. You can see I'm almost out. Dab your brush in it. A little up here, up to your cheeks. And then this side as well, all the way up to your temples, down to your cheeks, over your nose. And then that will add to the highlight. And then the very last thing, I use Smashbox um, in Pop. I think that's what this is called. Yeah, Smashbox in Pop. It's kind of a nice nude color. Take it, and that's going to conceal whatever you, I did to my lips last night. So there's that. And then last thing. Take out my little hair clips that I've been keeping my hair out of my face. Run my hair through it. Take my brush. I do brush my hair after I straighten it. Like a lot of people say, like, it's, you're not supposed to, but I do. And that's that. There's the finished product, guys. I hope you like it. Um, it only it takes me like maybe five, six minutes to do in the morning just because I'm so used to it. But I hope you guys like it, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!